my name's Linda, I'm a UK independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I'm making two cards today. I was whizzing through my Pinterest the other day and a card sketch came up and I thought, oh, I've not done one of those for ages, so I'm going to be working on this card sketch. I'm making two cards. So the first one's going to be with Jar of Flowers, second one's going to be using the Seaside Notions. I'm just going to show you using the same card sketch we can make slightly different, they're not radically different uh, cards. So starting with the jar of flowers, I've already done a little bit of preparation. My first card I'm going to be working in inches and my second card I'm going to be working in centimetres. So I've used um, a, this is a 5 by 7 card base that I've got out of my stash. If you're making your own card base up you just need to cut a 10 by 7 and score it at 5 inches. I really wanted to use this colour for my background. This is one of the new in colours um, but this is a 6 by 6 piece of paper and obviously this is not going to go on my 5 by 7 card. It's going to be too small. So I've just cut an inch off the side so I've got my 5 and then I'm going to be splitting this paper. So I've got some at the top and some at the bottom. I'm going to be covering this piece up so we're not going to see it. So that's what I've done with my first layer. My second layer, I've, I've used the Flowers for Every Season uh, Designer Series paper. I'm going to be using this side. You can choose whatever, whatever paper you want for this. You don't have to follow what I'm using. Um, and this, can, this is four by six inches. My third layer, um, I'm just using the Misty Moonlight and that is three by five and then i have my strip that's going to go across now this is from the um, in good taste designer series paper and this is one and a half by five inches and then i have some whisper white which is four and a half by two and a half and i've also gone ahead and stamped and punched my jar I've coloured it in as well and I'm going for the sunflowers as I've chosen sunflower background paper and I fussy cut this so I stamped it out, coloured it in, I've used um, blends and I've also used some ink with one of the little blender pens and as I said fussy cut that out so that's going to go on the top so this should be a reasonably quick card to put together so I'm just going to start sticking my layers down So there's the first two pieces of paper down. The next one we're going to stick down is the designer series paper. So obviously we still have these gaps, but we're going to be covering that up with our um, little strip of the In Good Taste paper. So I'm going to stick that one down now. And this one's going on the top here putting the misty moonlight layer on next so once you've cut all your layers um, and chosen your papers this is very quick card to put together and then the whisper white having a bit of trouble getting my glue going this morning there we go And then we're going to stick our jar down. So if you wanted to put a sentiment on, you can do that. So obviously the uh, most time consuming piece of this is going to be your colouring in and fussy cutting of your, oh, upside down, of your flowers and your jar. And there is card number one finished. I'm gonna go on to the second card. So same design but slightly different a little bit more work involved in this one this time using the seaside notions i'm going to be using this stamp and the seahorse i've already stamped my seahorse and i've used the watercolor paper and i've used stays on and we're going to do a little bit of um, very very basic watercoloring and this time i've used um, thick whisper white cardstock 
So we're going to be making um, an 18 by 12.5 centimetre card. So this is 25 centimetres by 18 centimetres and we're going to score this down the middle at 12.5 centimetres. So my first layer I'm using the In Good Taste um, designer series paper and this is 12.5 by 18. My second layer again I'm using the In Good Taste and this is um, 10 by 15 centimetres. And then I'm using the um, Flowers for Every Season design series paper and I'm using this side rather than the flowery side. I really like that design on the back. Um, and that is 7.5 by 10.5 centimetres. And then in the middle I've actually used Whisper White. I've used one of the rectangular stitched dies. But if you wasn't using the rectangular stitched die and you wanted to do the same style that I did before, that would be 11.5 by 6.5 centimetres and the strip that I used before if you're doing that in centimetres it would be 12.5 by 4 centimetres this card I'm not using a strip I'm using some ribbon on this one and obviously because uh, last time I cut my 6 by 6 paper I had to cover that gap but this time it's covering the whole of the page so I can play around a little bit and I'm using this pretty ribbon and this comes from the Jar of Flowers um, suite as well, it's really lovely. So I'm just starting by scoring my piece of um, Thick Whisper White and I'm going to score this at 12.5 centimetres and this is the going to be the card base. You just need to fold and burnish. We're now going to work on our seahorse that we stamped in the stays on black ink. And I'm going to be using Misty Moonlight and some Coastal Cabana. Um, if you've seen me use this stamp set before, I, I do use it a lot because it's one of my favourites. Everything's always blue. I am a person who loves blue. I use blue a lot. I have to try and do this um, seahorse in a different colour one day. So all I'm going to do, I've got one of these little um, water pens and I'm just going to squeeze some water out, get a bit of kitchen roll ready, and then go over my seahorse a little bit with my water. If you put too much on, which I think I have done, you just get your um, kitchen roll and dab some up. So I'm putting some on the face. Just This is just water and then I'm going to add my colour. Just dab it in. So we're going to be fussy cutting this out. And then I'm putting some of my Coastal Cabana and just, you know, there's no um, set pattern. I'm just putting it wherever I want to put it. And there you go, that's just a bit of cheat water colouring. So you need to leave that to dry and then cut it out. I've already done one earlier, so we can just carry on. Here's my seahorse that I did earlier. If you can see, I've just stuck a, a little eye on there. And I've used the, um, I've used the flowers for every season gems. I've just used one of the green ones. Just stuck that on with a little bit of um, fine tip glue. So let's start putting this card together. I'm going to start with um, my base. Really love this uh, In Good Taste paper. Really, really pretty. It's great for backgrounds. Then I'm going with this one next. I've got this one on, on the back. I'm going for the paint effect. So with my ribbon, I just want to put a strip of ribbon around the um, Misty Moonlight and then I'm going to be putting this on the top here. Um, I might put a bow on it, I'm not sure if I want to put a bow on or not. And I have done what I tell my ladies in my class not to do, I've put too much glue on my paper here and that's because my glue's been playing up, it's either coming out really fast or not at all at the moment. I just don't think it likes early mornings. So I'm going to wrap this ribbon around here. So I'll put in a piece of double sided tape on the back as so I can stick my ribbon to there. And then we can wrap it around. 
and stick it again and then we can stick this on to the card okay we're going to put that to one side i'm going to do a little bit more stamping on the white piece i'm going to use coastal cabana which is the color that i used in my seahorse and i'm just stamping on the background so i'm stamping off and stamping on just a bit random and then i'm going to um, stick my seahorse onto the middle of this then we're going to bring the card back in and place this in the middle here and here's the finished card now i have made a bow to put on there but i can't decide if i like it or not so i've not stuck it on yet so it's a possibility and here are the two cards side by side um very very similar but obviously very different because we've used different stamp sets and different colors i hope you enjoyed watching this video um please give me a thumbs up if you did and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching bye